will spin a little bit on takeoff. <laughs> we'll drive so fast the fire will blow itself out. Now we're going uphill. I did get the uh, carburetor kit and I checked to make sure that it has that little clip I don't know if you can see it there it is and uh, for the needle and we'll see if that needle is the same my needles over here just where I left it so yeah they look like the same design And, you know, of course, neither one of these needles has any miles on them. But I'll put this one back. I'm just going to use that clip. And I had to get the kit so I could have the gasket for the top of the carburetor. Um, but I am waiting to see if the weather's going to clear out because I need to adjust the valves on my C10. Right now, I don't know if you can tell by looking. Uh, probably not but it's kind of drizzling and threatening to rain. So uh, we'll see what happens. I'm gonna go to the store and run some errands in the C10 and uh, then the engine will be warmed up so I can adjust the valves. And if, it, if I can, I'm gonna do that because that truck's uh, gonna be basically good to go for driving after I adjust the valves. And uh, then we'll move on to this car. So we'll have three trucks running two motorcycles and then this car will be next and then after we get this car on the road then I'm gonna look at the Camaro because the Camaro needs a battery and exhaust whereas the Mazda I got to take the head and the intake and the head off to see if it's just a head gasket or worse so the Mazda is gonna be the one that's potentially stuck in the uh, garage the longest so that's how I'm deciding what to work on. And um, I'll come back to you in a moment for you, uh, probably an hour or so for me, maybe more. And we'll see what we get started on. Well, the weather never really did get that great, but we're going to go with it. It's not going to rain now. It doesn't look like so. I'm going to go ahead and get these valve covers off and then um, we'll get started on adjusting the valves, hopefully for the last time and then we can move on to better things. All right, now that the uh, valve covers are off, I'm going to go ahead and start the engine and uh, it's been warmed up. I drove it earlier. Just making sure nothing's going to roll off here. Uh, we'll start it up and then we'll get to adjusting those valves. And we'll also take a look and make sure all the rockers are oiling, but I mean they are. You can tell. Um, it's not nearly as dirty as it was, but there's still like stuff starting to, you know, crumble off that uh, coked on um, oil that was there before. Anyway.
driver's side seemed to be pretty good, actually. He didn't like going a quarter, so I'm going an eighth. shut the engine down and then pull that one out and try to clean it up and see what's going on. We'll see uh, if I can just clean this one up, maybe. And, uh, or not, Let's see what's happening. Sorry, camera guy. All right. I wasn't using a ratchet. I'm using that little breaker bar. And I was bumping, bumping you guys. But anyways, let's pull that off and see what is going on. I can blow through it. I think it's just this little hole is clogged up. Okay. Ah, dropped a little mushroom. I'm going to take this and attempt to see what is going on, but it looks just clogged up. So see if we can't find a little piece of wire or something to st stick through there. This is the kind of thing I was worried about happening 
with uh, just spraying that top end clean. But you get what you get, right? I'll tell you, sometimes stuff just doesn't want to agree. Well, we'll see what we can do. What do I have? Oh, the spring ought to work pretty good. Yeah, it was totally clogged. I stuck that spring through there. There was a whole shoot of crud that came out. All right, let's see if we can get it. It was this piece that came out of that hole. See, now the hole is clear. That's what we're going for. All right, let's put it back together and try again. It should be oiling up now. That's why I wanted to check this thing before doing a million miles. Although it still had oil on it, it's not good for it to be going running like that. That's the lower oil. So I'm going to put this back on and then start the engine up again and then set that. Set this baby. And hopefully it'll be getting oil. I got to take this and wipe the dirt off of it because I dropped it. All right, I'm going to plop this baby back in there. Good to go. Put this nut on, flat side down. Don't act like you don't know. And then we'll get it to zero, at least right here before we start it. Let's see. Okay, starting to put a little bit of pressure. I'm gonna back it off. Okay, and then start it back up. Maybe it'll start easy. If not, normally this motor takes some encouragement when it's hot. Still not getting oil through it. I blew air through that um, push rod, but who knows, all right? I'm gonna take it all, all the way off, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, blow that brake cleaner through there, because there might be a little hunk of junk that gets stuck in there, and we'll see what happens. This is still perfectly clean, so I'm not gonna mess with that. Mm, looks like it could have been blocking it a little bit, so that's why I'm cleaning it. Using this little piece of wire here. If I have to, I'll grab a new lifter. Well, not new, but from a different engine. <sighs> Might just want to do that. Let's see. Should be flowing. I don't see any junk in there. So maybe. I 
I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up real quick and get this crap off the sides. I'll be back. All right, I went ahead and borrowed uh, one from the 305 so we can see if that fixes the problem. I'm thinking it will. Why wouldn't it? Forgot my uh, wrench, however. So I gotta go back and get that. All right, same as before. Gonna go ahead and take up the slack, right? Then we'll start the engine. Okay, back it off a little bit. She's gonna make noise, but what we're looking for is oil to be flowing there. All the rest are working. So, we need this baby to be running clean with oil flowing. Yeah, all the rest are still working. So, fire it up again. Shut it down. Look, the alternator's working good. 14.4. All right. I'm going to go ahead and get those valve covers back on. And then we're going to call it done here. Um, I might go ahead and take the top of the carburetor off the Fiero and put that uh, needle in 
it didn't come with any instructions so I gotta just kind of monkey with it and make sure I get it right I guess but anyways this is uh, something that I wanted to do before putting too many miles on it um, I had done it before but I didn't do it you know a hundred percent and then now I noticed that oil problem so that could have been a problem down the line um, that uh, valve stem and uh, you know spring and rocker and all that wasn't getting oil so that could have been an issue uh, moving forward maybe not because you know it's kind of steamy in there with oil steam and, and it, even though it didn't have oil it wasn't necessarily dry and burned up so anyways I stole the part off at 305 and I'll put the uh, 350 part on there and I'll know uh, when I use that 305 for something that we'll have to I went ahead and fixed this uh, ground up to this light now you can see the speedometer light and all the other dash lights are working so that's good and uh, the work is done on the uh, valves so I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a little test drive around the block just to listen to the engine make sure it still sounds happy I did adjust the carburetor a little bit so uh, let's get this going now where to attach the camera is the real question right she's starting good will this work i think this is going to be way too shaky uh, we gotta find a good place to put the camera boys and girls and down is 50 this is 60 this is 70 so we're going in tens 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 so uh, you can probably keep an eye on that let me know if I was speeding got to open the gate but don't worry we're not gonna do it uh, whistling diesel style all right if I had that kind of uh, followers and that kind of money, hell yeah, I'd run the gate right through for you guys. But we don't have that. save everyone. but it has a GM part number. My engine does seem to load up on, at occasion. Don't worry about that. We are 
are going downhill. But it sounds like a 350 at least. down with the 307s is if I hit the gas too much on the highway it uh it might kick down a second but I don't want that I can smell the oil burning off of those uh exhaust manifolds no big deal drive so fast the fire will blow itself out. Now we're going uphill.
spin a little bit on takeoff. enjoyed the little ride along and uh, the valve work it's time to eat supper see you next time <laughs>